Hi and welcome to the second of my mini tutorials, my website getoutofmyfacebook.co.uk. Uh, this little tutorial will focus on rollover hotspots, which is something I had trouble with when I first set up my website and I thought it might be some useful information to share. Um, so here we're opening Dreamweaver and we've got a picture that we want a rollover to occur on at some point. Um, basically this is the front page of my actual website and I've got different rollovers and all of the elements of this picture such as the TV, the pictures, computer, my football shirt. Um, and basically when I rolled the mouse over these I wanted a different picture to show up. So basically I created five of the same picture, or yours will be depending on elements, and then had different sort of areas shaded on each. So when I rolled over the TV on mine, only the TV is left in colour, that sort of thing. So in order to do this basically I got my original picture, created my five others, and then on my original in Dreamweaver I created a hotspot. You've got your hotspot tools down here. You've got three types, so your rectangular hotspot, your oval hotspot, and then your polygon hotspot. And this is one I probably use the most because it allows you to draw your own shapes. So as an example, okay, as an example, sorry, um, we'll use my MacBook as the hotspot. So clicking on all the corners using your polygon hotspot tool, create the outline for your hotspot. Now this is now a hotspot and stuff that's even blue. And basically I want to create a behaviour when my mouse rolls over that selected area. So I've got my behaviours tab open over here. And where is it? In your Windows drop down, behaviours there. Or a 4, mine's already open. So there's your behaviours tab. Um, you've already got a line created here. So if you click on that, you don't need to press the add button. If you just click, it will bring open a drop down menu. And being a sort of rollover hotspot, I'm going to do on mouse over as my action. And then you click on the add button once you select on mouse over. And we want to do basically a, a swap image so that one of our alternative images will be displayed. So I've already got that somewhere. Where are we? Okay, so web design, that's the one I had. Make sure the image is preloaded, restored on on mouse out. Basically, if that's pre ticked, it means the Dreamweaver will fill in the restoratory behavior for you. So, if you all of two minutes, but there it is on mouse out, means it will go back to your image, the original image. Sorry. Okay, so if you save that. Where are we? Save and preview it in your browser. I'm going to use Safari. You should have it. So when you roll over your hotspot area, your different image comes up. Obviously, my images are the same size, and that's why it doesn't appear that a different image is displayed. It just appears that the colour's drained and a new new design is showed. And that's basically how you do a rollover hotspot. I realise you're not always supposed to do things in design view on Dreamweaver but um, in the code it's a hell of a lot of coordinates that you've got to work out otherwise so doing it in a design view is probably quickest and easiest to become a very experienced designer but it does all check out so it's quite a handy handy tool and quite a quite a cool looking property I think to be able to do that and hopefully it will help you in some way I'm afraid that concludes my second quick web tutorial. My website, get out of my Facebook.co.uk. Hopefully, it's some help to you. Cheers. Bye.